I'm Blake Haskins and today in this video we're going to be making this router tray and of course you know you just use a router and I made the template myself. <laughs> I figure I can get two of these platter things out of this board and um, I'm gonna make a video of just basically making one but I will be making two of these since I can cut this board in half and easily get two out of it. So here I have these two designs that I just kind of sketched up in PowerPoint. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one would be cool, but um, one reservation I have against it is that if I took the router bit, it wouldn't get perfectly 90 degrees in that corner. And, um, and I'm just not crazy about this design. And so I'm gonna go with this one first and see how that turns out. <laughs> So I'm just going to take the paper off my first template and then I'm going to uh, hot glue it down onto the uh, onto the board. Now I'm not going to cover the whole thing in hot glue because hot glue is much stronger than you give it credit for and um, it's oftentimes very hard to peel up. And the edges of my template lines up perfectly with this board. I just kind of got lucky on that. I didn't like measure it out in PowerPoint or anything. So I'm just going to use this. Uh, I always thought it was called a bull nose bit, but on the uh, package it says it's a round nose bit. But um, anyway, it looks like this. And um, that's what I'm going to try to use to take out the material so that way I get a nice bottom to it. Right now I actually have a Miles Craft. This plate right here, the base plate is actually a Miles Craft. And they have these... Um, collets that that slip into them and um that's going to come in handy for this project so i have a, a a pack of crafts craftsman router bits that i got with the router but i uh, over the years i've acquired some extra ones and that's what i keep in here just these collets and some extra bits and um and whatnot at the bottom so i'm gonna lock it down like this and then uh test out collets to see which one gets close to the bit and i think this one right here should work fine it's um Basically, you want your um, the brass part right here to be uh, no taller than your template. Um, that way, you know you're not hitting your workpiece, and of course, you want your bit to be able to fit in it, so it's not you know cutting the brass. That would be bad. So I'm I'm about to start cutting this. And one thing you're gonna want to note on your router <clears throat> is that if you have a bigger router like this one, um, you the base plate covers the whole thing. But if you have one of those smaller trim routers which I don't, then um, you're going to have to attach a sacrificial piece to it or just an extra plate, doesn't have to be sacrificial, and uh, just so it registers on the side of your template. Around those bit, it, um, it only comes to one point and not a flat surface. Um, so it, it left like you can't get it completely flat. And so I, I have this straight bit in the router now. And um, obviously I don't want to take off this rounded part right here because that was the whole point of using the round nose bit. So I'm going to use a collet that's even bigger than the first collet that I was using. That way it stays away from the edge, but it'll still flatten this area out. So now that I get this routed out, I have like a channel sitting uh, closer to the edge just because the way the bits were, it, that's how it had to be. And um, now I'm going to take my template off and try to put a roundover on the outside and the inside edges. Now I'm just going to use this quarter inch roundover bit to go over the uh, inside and the outside. Now, since this project like any project, it's going to need a lot of sanding. I'm going to take a, pe a strip of this sandpaper and uh, contact cement it to this piece of wood. So after a lot of sanding, I think I have it in the condition that is finishable. And uh, I'm just going to finish it with some Danish oil. 